Let's talk about transitioning from public accounting to industry, particularly the skills you should develop. Now, no secret, public accounting is where most CPAs get their start, but after a few years, it becomes mind-numbing and wears you out. Monotonous work, and that's why a lot of CPAs make the switch. It offers the chance to work for a single business, tackle a broader scope of projects so you can apply a bit of creativity and resourcefulness to less monotonous projects and really move the needle in the business. And of course, the work-life balance is generally much better. But before we jump into it, here's a quick plug. We have some awesome NASBA CPE courses designed to help accountants thrive in industry roles here at Wisdify from financial modeling to forecasting and Python. So if you want to brush up your skills and pick up some CPE credits, check out our courses. We'll put a link below the video. Now let's get into it. When you're in public accounting, your focus is usually on analyzing financial statements and documents from other companies, whether you're auditing them or preparing tax returns. But when you move to industry accounting, you shift gears. Suddenly it's about creating budgets and forecasts for the company you're working for. Here's where it gets interesting. Instead of just reviewing the past, you are looking ahead. You're creating budgets, forecasting future revenue and expenses. And then here's the kicker, figuring out why the numbers didn't always match. Executives in the C-suite will want to know why there's a 5% variance in this account, what happened in that account, why sales projections didn't hit, why growth isn't happening as fast as it was expected. It's your job to dive in, investigate, and present the answers, and often present the modeling. So that leads me to the next section. Next up is financial modeling. Now, this is a huge part of industry accounting. You'll move from the retrospective work of public accounting, looking at what happened in the past, to much more forward-looking stuff. Financial modeling is all about showing the information in your forecast. Let me give you an example. Say the company's leadership team wants to explore opening three new locations next year. They'll come to you for a model that shows how much it'll cost, how long it'll take to break even, and what kind of return on investment they can expect. To do this, you'll need some pretty advanced Excel skills, not just the sum and VLOOKUP functions that you probably already know and work with quite a bit. We're talking about index match, IRR, and other formulas to model out different scenarios. And beyond that, you'll need to make smart assumptions, research-based assumptions about market trends, business growth, and revenue potential. And if you want to brush up on those skills, we've got some awesome courses on financial models here at Wisdify. Now, in public accounting, you're probably used to working with audit or tax software like ProSystem or Go Systems, but in private industry, you're going to face new tech challenges, particularly with ERP systems or enterprise resource planning software. These are the heartbeat of most companies. They link together different departments, sales, operations, HR, and finance. So you, you get the full picture or the C-suite team, the executives get a full picture of how the business is running, whether it's SAP or Oracle or a smaller company might use a more homegrown and kind of linked together system, which is like a system that just basically fetches data from all of the little individual softwares that they're using, like whatever CRM they're using, uh, whatever scheduling system they're using, whatever bookkeeping system they're using. Their version of an ERP may just be a dashboard that's linking them all together. It's going to be your responsibility to master it. So don't just think of ERP as another tool to learn because your colleagues will likely see you as the go to person for ERP related questions. The quicker you learn it, the more valuable you become to the team. One big shift when moving to industry accounting, you're going to be collaborating across departments, something that's not as common in public accounting. You'll be working with people from sales, operations, marketing, and even legal, most of whom don't speak finance and accounting language. So it'll be your job to explain financial info in ways they can understand. Here's where having good communication skills really pays off. In my experience, it's all about simplifying concepts. A simple flow chart or bar graph, or anytime you can take some data and just make a simple 2D chart, it'll work wonders when explaining financial scenarios. And people will think you are a genius, even if you don't bust out, you know, a complex model in Excel or something. And let's not forget, you might be the only accountant in the business. So gone are the days when you had three other accountants working on the same client or a whole team working on the same project. This means you'll need to be more self-reliant and resourceful and confident in what you are doing. And finally, in public accounting, your work might be pretty specialized, hence the monotonous. Maybe you've been focused on audit, tax, or forensic accounting, but in industry, you're going to need a broader set of skills. And here's what that means. You might be called to look at management accounting one day, cost accounting the next day, capital budgeting the next day, and then making forecasts. You have to be resourceful and quick to adapt to what the business 
need, then it'll be very helpful if you can come up with ideas and convey that to the executive team that might not even realize what type of financial data or insight they need. One quick tip here I have for you is to review some job descriptions for the industry accounting roles in sectors that interest you and kind of take note of any skills or knowledge areas that you're not familiar with that they are requesting and make a plan to fill those gaps. On that note, the transition from public to industry accounting can be a game changer. Not only does it come with a better work-life balance, but it also lets you apply your skills in more strategic ways that directly impact the business you're working for. But remember, success in industry accounting requires a different set of skills. Skills most accountants, most CPAs are going to need to pick up by focusing on budgeting, financial modeling, you can get a jump on success for a new role. Thank you guys for joining us today. Be sure to check out the Wisdify courses linked below to get the training you need to master these skills and thrive in industry accounting. And as always, feel free to reach out if you have any questions.